Hi, John Coach Mace R&D. Today we have a set of 235 connecting rods that we're going to resize. And what we've already done, we've taken them, uh, sandblasted them, knocked them apart, knocked the bolts out. And we've cut the rod and the cap here on the uh, machine that does that. And now we're going to take them over to the hone over here and finish them up. We've already done one connecting rod and we're going to show you how we measure the size and the concentricity of the connecting rod. This is a special gauge that we use for doing connecting rods. As you can see we're just about a tenth out of round. It's not so bad. We've got a special fixture on the machine which is uh, an option when you buy the machine but it works out really well. It makes sure that you keep the bore 90 degrees to the hole when you hone this thing out and that's really important. You have to stroke the rod back and forth and as you do so, the stone inside automatically feeds up. Okay, we're about 2,000 cylinder size. Flip the rod over. We have our gauge set at the minimum diameter according to the uh, specifications that we get out of our engine bearing catalog. And I like to keep them on the small side, that way when somebody checks the rod and they don't have enough clearance, we can always open the rod up a little bit more rather than just going to a medium or a maximum size where you have too much clearance all at once. When you recondition connecting rods, you're going to get some heat buildup in the uh, body of the uh, connecting rod. And you kind of have to take that into account. And what we'll actually do is hone this a couple of tenths oversize so that it will shrink back. Right on size. As you can see, every time I put the rod in here, I flip it over. Flipping it over takes any taper that might come in through the rod by the man. Not that that happens very often. Uh, about one and a half tenths over. Take it out just a little bit more. So that when this thing cools down, it's going to be right on the minimum. We're 
yard, two and a half tenths. Nice and round. That's the way it should be. If you have questions about rebuilding 235 connecting rods, give me a call here at Close Space R&D. We'll see you soon.